Hello everyone, in this video we're going to make our first C program on the Raspberry Pi. Um, this is a very simple one, it's a, it's a traditional uh, first program for any programming language. It is uh, the Hello World application and all it's going to do is print Hello World on the screen. And so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, in the last video we installed Genie for uh, our IDE that we're going to use in our C programming uh, and put it on our desktop here. You can uh, find out how to install Genie in my uh, previous video. I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. And let's go ahead and get started here. Um, first, we're just going to go to File and New and and click on main.c and that's going to create a new uh, C uh, source code file and you can see there's other other types of files that you can start here including HTML, PHP, uh, a few I'm not real familiar with, Java, Python and uh, you can do all those things here in Genie but we're going to use C and uh, this is a C tutorial and it gives you some boilerplate up here um, that you can you can go ahead and uh, uh, don't worry about what this is, but you know, um, basically these are comments up here, and we'll get into that later. Um, but for right now, uh, here is our is our code, and what this is doing is, uh, first of all, it's including a header file, a, a or a uh, also known as a library, uh, and uh, and we're, we need this library to, for the uh, print function that is going to uh, print onto the screen. Uh, now, one thing that all C programs will have in common is they will have a main function, and it it depends the the actual syntax of this depends on the IDE you're working with, the platform you're working with. Uh, I've worked with other IDEs where uh, there's nothing in the uh, the brackets here. There's just a uh, it, or it might be called a void main, uh, and there's no return. Uh, it it uh, it can vary a little bit, but the main thing to remember is there is a main function, and that's where the program is going to start. And so uh, this program is real simple. It's only going to have we're going only going to add one line, and we're going to call the printf function. You see, I start typing it, and it's it, and it tries to guess what I what I need. And I can just click on that to finish uh, what I was typing, and I use a, a parentheses, and then quote and in quotes I'm going to put hello world okay end quotes and at the end of each C programming line uh, we need a semicolon let me blow this up just so you make sure you can see it uh, zoom in up here Let's do, zoom in some more Okay, uh, hopefully you can see that a little bit better now. Uh, basically, I have up here, uh, we're including the SDDIO as standard input output uh, file. Uh, and that contains this printf function, which is going to print whatever I put in these quotes onto the screen. Okay, so that's all this program is going to do. And we can uh, do this a couple ways. This is just to compile it. This will build, uh, compile and build. And so we just click that. Uh, first of all, I gotta give it a name and I'm going to put it in my C tutorials um, and call it Hello World. Spell it right. Okay, so it's hello world.c. Uh, make sure you leave this dot c on there. Okay, down here it says compilation finished successfully. Now, if you have uh, any errors, it'll show up in red, and it means you did something wrong. A lot of times, you, maybe you forgot, uh, uh, maybe the didn't have the right number of parentheses, or you did, forgot your uh, uh, semicolon. But uh, if you have red down there, it means something uh, didn't didn't work right. Um, so we can go ahead and run this program in two ways. First way, I'm going to show you directly from the environment here. I just click on these gears here, and you can see it says run view, run or view current file. So I just hit run, 
and it pops up a terminal window and it says hello world uh, now just to demonstrate uh, how this works a little bit better just so that we're perfectly clear is I can change this text in here let's just say hello from spastech okay I go ahead and build it again run right there you can see it changes hello from spastech okay now I want to show you uh, another way to run this and we can run this this is now a program saved on a hard drive and we can run this program from the um, from a terminal window I'm just going to move this over a little bit so we can see what we're doing here and you will have to know where it's stored on the program first of all uh, where it's stored so there it is just like right there and let's uh, let's copy this over here go CD paste okay and then I'm gonna hit a, a period a slash and then the name of the program okay now you see it printed on the screen it says hello from spastech but then my command prop came came back on the same line and that's because I did not add a re uh, line return uh, or end of line uh, uh, at the end of this line in the program and let's let's go ahead and fix that and I'll show you how here just go back into program and we're going to hit uh, let's see I think it's backspace n just like that and all this means is just this, this is the same as as like telling the, the computer to hit return and start a new line so that's a new line right there so let's uh, build it again okay now if you don't hit that build um, it's just going to run the old program okay but we hit build so now we hit the period slash uh, hello world and this time it's going to print it and then go to a new line so there you have it uh, that's your first program in the C programming language uh, in in the next video I think we're going to get into uh, a little bit more about libraries okay and we're going to actually import uh, a library that allows us to access the general purpose IO pins of the Raspberry Pi so uh, stick around and uh, look forward to your next video if you like this video please click like it motivates me to make other videos just like it if you want to find out when I post more videos please subscribe you can also read about uh, completed projects on our website spastic.net or spastic.com. On our website we include details of how we did some of the projects that are on these videos and some of the source code that uh, you can use uh, yourself as much as you like. If you want to track progress of projects we have going on step by step be sure to check out our pages on Twitter and on Facebook.